The team we have now has been together for six years. Uh, we've been up and down. We won a couple of European championships. We took a couple of medals in the world. But uh, probably the best experience if you're a curler to play Olympics in Canada. I mean, uh, it's a really this is the best country to play curling in, right? And even if it's Olympics, so it's that was huge. I mean, not often do you see uh, t people buying tickets on the black market to a curling game. I actually I saw that in uh, Vancouver. So that was that was. Every game was packed, it was so loud and it was just fun and we, we had a good week so we ended up in silver, that was a good experience. Uh, my name is Thomas Wiltshire, I'm a skip of Team Norway and uh, I curl. Ulstrud's team and Paul Trulsen's team and like basically all the Norwegian teams practice at the same rink in also Norway. And um, like Ulstrud played with some others back then and uh, I played with Howard and a couple other guys. And uh, every practice it was uh, Thomas and Torger practicing on one sheet and me and Howard practicing on the other sheet. Both teams missing two team members every time. So we looked at each other and we decided there's no point doing it halfway, right? Like you guys want to make an effort, we do. Our teammates don't, let's merge and start playing together, so. So yeah, we started playing in 07, I guess, late 06, we had 06, 07 season, so we've been together for, this is the sixth season we're playing together. It's been a great ride, really, it's uh, from we started playing together up until the Olympic season, we were just like going up, up, up the whole time, just making it, doing better and better and better, and uh, peaked in the Olympic season, we were in playoffs and everything we played and won a bunch of big cash deals and medaled in all the championships that year so it was a great, great year for us and uh, after that we've been struggling a bit really to find our form again we kind of like all of us took our technique apart tried to put it back together and try and like build a better team out of it and I think we're on the track back again but we haven't really made it really good that far. Curling is a really small sport in Norway like it's it's only every fourth year it gets big during Olympics and it's growing though, but it's always going to be a small sport in Norway. You know, we got cross country and speed skating and ski jumping and all that. So curling is a really small sport. I think basically, if you want to, if you're going to be good in curling, you need to go to Canada to, to play the best teams on the best ice. So that's pretty basically why, why we're here. We have to get out of the country to, to play against the best teams, and especially over here. Actually, this season we, this is our sixth trip over here this season, so we come over here a lot. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I would say we have probably like between 80 and 100 travel days a year. Bumpe, he's the he's the fashion coordinator. He's the second on the team. Uh, he likes to facilitate three things about Chris. He likes, likes to play hard peels. He likes to drink. And he likes to eat. Basically, that's Chris for you. And then we have Howard, who's uh, playing lead. Uh, he's a good good player, good judge of weight, and uh, obviously. He's, all leads can only play one hand. Can throw an in turn if you had a gun to his head, but uh, he's pretty decent on the out turn, so he's, yeah, he's a good player. Torger, he's the, he's the reasonable guy on the team who. Uh, he's the engineer. We call him, in our team, we call him the professor. He's the guy with the, the biggest degree and everything. He tells me, you know, you're only so like the. I'm, I'm the face, I'm the face. He actually, he's the brain. He likes to think that. I don't agree though. This week we've been really fortunate to get David Nedwin to play with us. Uh, I think it's real fun because I, I when I grew up I was watching Curl TV all the time. And he was a great player on Team Furby. I think he's four times Briar champion, three times world champion. So uh, anybody who's three times world champion can spare us a third for me anytime. And they called me about a month ago asking if I was interested in playing with him, and it was a great opportunity for me. So 
I, I wasn't in the Players' Championship and uh, come play Maple Leaf Gardens and play with these guys was uh, you know, an exciting opportunity. I've played against Thomas and the boys for quite a few years now and uh, you know, just uh, we've, we've known the Norwegians over a long period of time back from Paul Trollson and now Olsrud and just got to know them at various events. It was interesting, we, it was educational, we learned something from him because he's, he's been in tight situations before and he has a, a certain view of how to play the game and we have a different maybe. And, so it was uh, definitely something we could learn from. It's, it's great. I haven't played third in, in uh, since probably about 93 for Arnold Asham. And uh, playing third is, is a lot of fun. You know, I'm really enjoying it. Your mentality's a little bit different on making your shots. And, you know, I know when I miss a shot, I can go down to the other end and tell Thomas it's okay. You should have a freeze of some sort. So uh, we're having a good time together and it's, it's great. Thankfully, he had my husband, her, her husband playing yeah. third because yeah. it was a big deal. He's gold. See? He's gold. Golden in those pants. <laughs> yeah. Those pants are what it's at. Yeah. We're the, we're the pants and nobody knows what we're doing on the ice other than that we're wearing the craziest pants, so, yeah. The pants started actually was just before the Olympics. Uh, the Norwegian Federation gave us some playing gears for the, for the Olympics. Well, the shirts we got for Olympics weren't the nicest we ever had. They were one pair of grey shirts and we had some dark blue shirts and Chris just got really upset because he wanted it to be good looking, you know, so... <laughs> so, we figured we'll end up playing for Norway in the Olympics in all black. We're, we're not New Zealand, so we felt that was wrong. So, we couldn't do anything about the shirts because that was our Federation sponsor. While uh, they didn't have a pan sponsor, so we were we could wear Asham or Gold Line or whatever we wanted for that. So we decided to bring some colorings. We went and tried and find red pants or just red golf pants or something. Couldn't really find anything that was good enough to, to play in because you need a stretch and all that. And then the last minute attempt, I just went online and uh, searched for crazy colored pants. And you just came up with one company that sold this. The pants we play in is actually golf pants, but they're a bit stretchy, so they're perfect for curling. So, so we ended up sending them uh, an email and asked if he can send us a couple of pairs, and they thought we were kidding. So we actually ended up uh, buying the first pair of pants. And got it shipped to our pre camp in Edmonton, uh, where we were training before the Olympics. And so we got it there. Uh, this was then maybe 10 days prior to the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Got it there. Tried them on, started practicing in them, got a lot of shit from everyone. <laughs> you can't do this, you can't do this. They felt nice to play in, and uh, actually, the final decision were made night before the Olympics, the training in the Olympics started. We had uh, some of the ski cross girls from Norway were in our flat uh, in the Olympic village just hanging out. And I took these pants out, put them on, and uh, asked them what they thought, and they were like, you should totally do it. It's, It'll bring color to the game and it'll be something new and it'll be good. And then uh, midway through the Olympics, the guy who owns the company, uh, loved my company, he just said, guys, I need to come up and see you guys because my websites keep on breaking down like 10 times a day. This is just crazy. So uh, he's our sponsor now, yeah? He sponsored three, he has three, three teams sort of like he sponsored. He sponsored John Daly in golf, Alice Cooper and the Norwegian curling team. That's his sponsor gig. Being a curler in Norway, you don't get a lot of attention anyway, so like, I would say after Olympics I've only been recognized probably once. That was just a couple of, when I'm during work and like I see hundreds of people every day at work. And so <laughs> It's just a good thing that the pants gives us a little attention back home. They've eased me in from uh, sort of an Alberta colors, blue and yellow, to, uh, to now our our new flashy uh, pink, they call them Shagadelic, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, that's something, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. We have like, I think 50 different pairs of pants we play in, so that's, that's a big deal, bring the right pants. I'd be disappointed if they were any less uh, bright and loud uh, than, than they are, and I was kind of expecting that, it's a lot of fun. This isn't a joke, is it? Like, this is real? That's <laughs> real. <laughs> They don't get the world too much. It's like Tiger. It's like Tiger. <laughs> They're pink, and it's uh, you know honoring Shorty Jenkins today, and everyone's got the armbands on, and I think the pants fit right into that. Pink's a good color on David. It brings out the smile, like the bright. His eyes shine in pink. It's all win. It's golden. It's, it's all for you, Heather. You get to keep the pants. You know, you can walk around the heaven. No, you know, so wait, I got to. Take the <laughs> yeah, I believe I'm uh, getting to keep the pants, but uh, no, it's been fun. You know, I, I wanted to be part of the team and. 
be involved in, in sort of the uh, following that they've created and the brand about themselves and, it's, and obviously uh, the pants are a big part of that. I don't know, it's, a, it's fun. I, I like the games, I really like to play the games. You're playing the best teams on the best eyes and sometimes you manage to beat them and it's just a great feeling. I think the one thing the curlers are known really well for is getting along you know on and off the ice and you know when we step on the ice uh, the four people we're playing against are obviously our competitors and we're there to win and that we'll do you know whatever we can to, to play our best and make sure we win but when you get off the ice for the most part you know you'll sit down and socialize and whether that means in the you know in the lounge later on in the evening having a drink with them or whatever but yeah you know I, I spent time uh, just with Thomas and the team and uh, so when I had the offer from them I knew I was gonna have a good time and that was a big part of my decision. Like all the teams are of good friends and Dave knows all of them as well, so yeah, we had a pretty good time here and uh, managed to put out a couple of good games as well, and yeah, it's been good. Basically, when you go to a curling tournament, you play all the time though, but uh, we like to have some fun, be social at nights and uh, hang out, but, uh, but that's why this week has been really good for us in Toronto. We've been to a baseball game, we've been to a basketball game, and uh, here we are hanging out with the VIP people, you know, drinking fancy drinks and eating fine food, it's good. Uh, it's not bad, I'm telling you, this is the good life. Yeah.